Hello everyone, I'm Kelsey Lemon, Technical Marketing Manager at VMware, and I want to welcome you to the Day 2 Mastery Series, where we look at specific features and workflows that allow you to get the most out of the service. And in this episode, we're going to focus on the unsung hero of the Skyline service, the Skyline Collector. We're going to discuss its role in the overall service, the importance of maintaining its health, and then we're going to explore ways to restore that health should it ever become compromised. So if you've been coming to my monthly webinars or watching my workflow videos, you've undoubtedly seen me spend most of my time in Skyline Advisor, which presents proactive findings and recommendations to anyone who has been granted access within VMware Cloud Services via a web browser. But as you can see from this high-level diagram, those findings and recommendations that are reported through the advisor come from the collector that gets configured as part of the installation process. You can consider it the brains of the service because it collects key data relating to usage, performance, and configuration from the endpoints that it monitors. Obviously, the collector is a key component of the service, and it's important that it stays in a healthy state because anything less than that would not only impact Skyline's ability to deliver findings and recommendations that would keep the environments that you manage out of harm's way, but it would also impact your ability to upload log bundles to VMware using Skyline's log assist should you actually encounter an issue that you need to react to. So here are the five states that your collector can have, ranging from healthy, partially healthy, failing to collect data, no products configured, or even inactive. And at the end of this session, I'll provide a link to a troubleshooting guide that goes into detail on their key characteristics and recommendations on how to restore them to a healthy state. So be sure to watch till the end. Now for the demo. Let's jump into the service and check the state of my collectors. And as you can see, I have three collectors that are monitoring my environments that consist of two vCenters, nine hosts, 24 virtual machines, one vRealize Operation Manager, and two Horizon Connection servers. And when I click on their health, I can see that they're either partially healthy or failing to collect data. Not good. So let's address the collector that is failing to collect data from my vCenter. I'm going to remote desktop in and do some investigating. And as I expand my inventory, I see the culprit, or rather, it's what I don't see. It seems that my collector was inadvertently removed, and I can only speculate as to why, but perhaps it was moved to another vCenter, or perhaps it was cloned and the original one was deleted. But in any event, I can solve this issue by locating the parent data store and folder, and using its VMX file to properly add it back to inventory. Doing this is a simple process. I'll just walk through the registration wizard, giving the VM a name, associating it with the host, and confirming my decisions. Now that I'm done, I'll power it back on. This should enable the collector to properly communicate with the vCenter. Now on to the collector that is registering as partially healthy. I'm going to remote desktop in as well into the second vCenter. And after a quick inspection, I notice that the collector, while available, doesn't seem to be responding. So I'm going to reboot the guest OS since it has VMware tools installed. And after the reboot, I noticed that its state has changed from available to powered on. Now for the third collector, I went through a very similar process and addressed its status as well. Now let's go back into Skyline Advisor. And as you can see, everything is functioning properly again with all three collector statuses registering as healthy. Now, before I end this episode, I wanna point out that should your collectors go into an unhealthy state, the actions that you take to restore them may be different than the ones that I took here. Remediation is all dependent on how you have your environments configured. So be sure to check out the KB article shown here for more insight into how to troubleshoot your issue. And if you are unable to return the Skyline Collector to a healthy state, please contact the Skyline community for help. And if you are a premier support customer, contact your support account manager for assistance with Skyline. And with that, this concludes this episode of the Day 2 Mastery Series. I hope you found it informative. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout for live webinars where you can ask me and the rest of the Skyline team questions about the service.